me, Liz Yule from Old Stables Crafts. Thank you for joining me today. Hopefully we are live. Um, it's always that, you know, mm, I've got my email. Yes, we're live. So welcome. It's the last day of June. So obviously in South Oxfordshire, it's pouring with rain. Why wouldn't it be? What more would we expect? Oh, and the delay today is horrific. It's about 30 seconds. Um, so I don't even know if the lip syncs out. I know it often is. So sorry if the lip syncs out. Mm -hmm. Life's just like that, really. So easy watercolouring effect on, uh, for beginners and beyond. That is what I've called today. Um, as ever, if you're watching live, do say hello when you um, when you hear me say hello. Do say hello and let me know where you're joining from, what the weather's like with you, whether where you are it's meant to be summer and isn't like it is here, uh, or whether you're in um, Australia or somewhere like that where actually it's early evening, late night. Hello, Pam. If you're watching on the replay, uh, do say hello in the comments. You'll find those below the description bar. Um, do remember that if you're watching on the replay, I'm not live. Uh, it's a replay. Um, and you'll know that it's a replay because the title will say replay. Um, so it'll say crafting live replay rather than just crafting live. Um, as I say, today is the last day of June, which also means it's the last day of the mini catalogue, the January to June mini catalogue. So if there's anything you don't already have that you need, you kind of need to get it now if you want it from the mini catalogue, from the old mini catalogue. The new mini catalogue and celebration, whoop, whoop, start today. Not summer with you. It's taken a little break. Yeah, same here. Hello, cave. <laughs> and there's thunder. Hello, cave from Kansas. Oh, I can't believe we've actually got a thunderstorm. Um, got to leave for work soon. Well, you can watch on the replay when you get back, so that will be fine. Yeah, we have a weather warning, so why am I surprised that there's thunder? Um, because we have a weather warning for thunderstorms. Oh, isn't it wonderful? Hello, Karen. Bright sunshine in Hampshire at the moment. Oh, well, yes, quite at the moment. We weren't meant to get thunder. Just saying. We were supposed to have a nice day today. It was supposed to be a nice day all week. I'm kind of OK with it because I'm supposed to be watering the village hall flower tubs this week. And I've only had to do them once so far because we've had rain every other day. So, um, so yes. Right, I'm going to flip the camera down because we are going to start on celebration. Just saying. Because celebration starts tomorrow. Can't believe it. So we've got celebration and the new mini catalogue. And please, please, please do not think that the new mini catalogue is only for Christmas. There's lots of stuff in there that is not for Christmas. And I will be sharing some of that with you. So I am using today Stylish Sketches. It's a really pretty uh, stamp set. It's a celebration stamp set, which means you can choose it if you spend £45 or whatever in your local currency. But for us in the UK, it's £45. Let me check what it is in Europe. And have you heard the news? Stamping Up's opening in Ireland and in Belgium later this year. I cannot, I cannot believe that uh, we're finally going into Ireland and Belgium. It's going to be epic. Um, right, let me, it is for every 60 euros. So this is a level one item. If you have your celebration brochure, I can't show you it yet because it's not tomorrow yet. Um, it's on page nine. There's four stamps and it's just gorgeous and is perfect for beginner watercolour. Um, so I have already 
prepped some watercolour paper. This is our Fluid 100 paper. Um, I've got the um, fox. I'm thinking of this as a fox. It's It's got a more pointed nose, I think, than a wolf would have. But you could obviously do this as a wolf if you would rather. So I've got my fox um, on the block. And I am going to just take some Cajun Craze ink and ink it up. <laughs> the rain's getting worse. Um, just saying, it's just... It's just epic. Um, <laughs> you couldn't make it up. Oh, dear. So I'm going to stamp my fox slightly towards the left. Hello, Suzanne. Hello, Margaret. You've got rain today as well, have you? I can't believe that it's the last day of June. Oh, dear. Um, anyway... It is. It's the last day of June. So there is my fox stamped. Now, we have a number of options with this, and I'm going to start with the most simple. Uh, and that is, I've got one of our water painters. I've also got um, a really scabby face cloth. It's obviously not one that I use these days, uh, but it's one that is perfect for this. So I'm going to take my water painter, quite dry, um, and just add some water to my image and that's going to draw the ink from the stamped image onto the areas that are not stamped. So this is kind of where I would start if I was doing kind of easy watercolour and the key for this for me is to keep your brush as dry as possible. Hello Gwen from North Carolina. I hope it's nice and warm with you. Might be a bit muggy I guess in North Carolina. I suppose it depends whereabouts you are. I do remember when I was there many years ago it was quite sticky. So I'm just very gently moving the water uh, or rather moving the ink with the water to get this watercolour effect. And as I say, the key to this is to keep your brush relatively dry. I prefer doing, particularly on watercolour paper, using my water painters than my um, colour... What do we call it? Blending brush. That's what I'm trying to think of. Um, the blending brush isn't great on watercolour paper. It would work quite nicely on the shimmery white. I might use some shimmery white for one of the other images with a blender brush. Just to show you a different look. Now that to me is a bit dark on the tail. So I'm going to deal with that. Nice and warm, humid, yeah. It would be. Now, I'm just going to grab a piece of kitchen roll. And the only thing you need to be aware of when you're using something like kitchen roll is it has got a pattern on it because it's got blobs. So I am going to get my water painter quite wet and then I'm going to come in and lift some of that ink off to soften it down. Need a bit more water. Having started with an I want it very dry, I now want it wetter. And then I can come in and lift that water off. It's leaving an interesting pink tinge, but we'll deal with that in a moment. So let's, I've dried my brush off again and I'm coming in just to move my ink around in the areas that I've not yet touched. And it's worth keeping an eye on the image that you're using as well. So I've got my stamp set set to one side so I can see what the image looks like. Hello, Donna from California. 
Do remember if you're enjoying the video, a thumbs up is always appreciated. YouTube like lots of thumbs ups. They like comments. They like it if you share. It's just a great way of um, helping me promote my channel. So that's my basic fox, but it's a bit flat. So this is where we can, I'm just going to add a little bit more water around the edge just to smudge those sketch lines a little. Not too much, just a bit of a scribble. Now down here it's going to be quite interesting because this is quite dark so I'm going to just use the lightest touch, dry my brush and come back in to do the other pieces. So I'm going to pop my water brush away and I'm bringing in my Cajun Craze watercolour pen pencil and I'm going to add more colour with that because we can then just blend some of these areas so that they're a little more defined. Just around his head, for example, we want to give that nice shadow down his front. So can you see I'm beginning to build that colour back in? Whereas I is, we need a bit more definition, a bit more on his nose and his ears. So basically you're just adding, because we've smudged the lines, we're Hello, Sharon from Adelaide. Wow, must be very late with you. Hello, Deborah from Michigan. So, yeah, we've smudged the lines. We've moved the ink around. Now we need to put some definition back. And a watercolour pencil is perfect for that because it's really easy to control. You can add your colour where you want it and just add that definition back in. Now I cannot draw for love or money. It's why I love stamping. I went to design college, so fashion design, and um, <laughs> my drawings were dreadful. I ended up having to do a really dark outline that I could put behind the um, design paper because <laughs> I cannot draw. Um, I could do the design on top of that, but I just couldn't get the figure right. So I am by no means an artist. Um, but can you see we're beginning to get that definition back? So I'm going to stop there and I'm now going to make this into a card. So I need a card base. And I'm thinking I'm going to go crumb cake. I need to order some more crumb cake. Oh, now anyone who ordered my Abigail Rose class, uh, the boxes are on their way to you. And I very, very nearly finished um, writing up the instructions. Uh, the videos are done. I just need to finish writing the instructions, which would have been a so, lot, so much easier today if I hadn't had a problem with my website, uh, which is not now talking to Facebook. And actually, the problem isn't my website. It looks like it's Facebook. So I've got a full sheet of um, card here. I'm scoring it in the middle. And then I'm going to cut it in half. Uh, dimensions will be on my website when I get round to actually posting this video on my website. 11.42 p.m. Yes, that would be quite late. Hello, Barbara from Germany. So, score that. Well, I've scored it, I've burnished it. I've got the slightly longer edge at the front. I've already prepared a Cajun Craze background, which I've used the 
I want to say plank embossing folder. <gasps> Is it plank? 10.15 a.m. Uh, with me, it's a quarter past three in the afternoon, Gwen. Um, but it might as well be the middle of the night because it's really dark. It's lovely. Uh, timber. It's the Timber 3D embossing folder on page 177 of your annual catalogue. So I'm going to grab some liquid adhesive. And just run that on the back of my Cajun Craze Timber. Pop that down. It's really dark in here. I don't normally need to have the lights, the general lights on. I normally just have the focus lights. Um, <laughs> I might have to turn the lights on in a minute. Uh, so this is this is half a sheet of the fluid uh, fluid 100 watercolor paper. Um, it's slightly s taller than wide, so I'm going to cut this down a bit. I'm going to take a bit off, uh, possibly the bottom. Let's put the lid on my glue, then it might actually be wet when I next go to it. Dear Lord, it's going to be one of those days. I can see. So. This currently measures five inches by three and a half. I've taken five eighths of an inch off the width in comparison to this. So I need to take five eighths off my usual three and seven eighths. So five eighths comes down to three and a quarter. So I'm going to take an eighth of an inch off the bottom it's too much to take a quarter of an inch off and an eighth of an inch off the top. And then it will be the same um, proportions as the piece of Cajun craze. So that's that. But I do want to pretty it up a bit. And I'm thinking... Ooh, ooh... I might go, I might go metallic. So these are the um, metallic shapes that carried over to the annual catalogue. Let me find them for you. But they've got this really nice kind of rose gold that will go really nicely with the Cajun craze. They are called, they are called number four brushed metallic dots the other one that you could use are the rustic metallic adhesive back dots um, which are more the um, they're, they're not such a, a red or pink tinge but I do like with with the Cajun craze I do like the idea that we've got this pink red coming through now I know I have an interesting brain sometimes quite often actually um, when it comes to animals and embellishments, I have an issue putting an embellishment anywhere near the posterior of an animal. So I'm not going to. I'm going to put it just up from its tail. My brain, I know, as I say, is weird. Hello, Elaine from Australia. So I'm going to pop this. Actually, I'm going to, I'm going to stick this down first. Yes, I am. Uh, I wasn't sure if I was going to put it on dimensionals, and I'm not. I've decided I'm not. Now, a lot of people have already been sharing this lovely fox image, but I am going to use all of them today. Because I think we need to share all of them. That's almost straight, and yet not quite. Now, you do need to be quite generous with your adhesive, whatever adhesive you use. Um, <laughs> Donna has obviously got the joke um, or has a brain that works in much the same way as me. Uh, you do need to use quite a lot of adhesive with your um, watercolour paper and with your embossing folder. 
So Kay wondered about this set but couldn't decide if I could make it look the way I liked it. Yours is looking great. Thank you, Kay. Hello, Janet from Southeast Pennsylvania. Watching Wimbledon on your TV and catching me live on your iPad. Uh, Leslie, Leslie, thank you, dare I say, thank you. Um, from Sydney, late because as it's the 1st of July already there, she's placed a huge order. Shh, it's already celebration in the South, South Pacific. Yay! Um, not yet here. So I've got one of those there. I'm going to have one. Uh, I think I might have one just up here. And then one just without the cat hair. Oh, has, does anyone follow me on Instagram? I mean, I know he's cute, but seriously. So I've just got that. Now you could put a, um, you could put a, sentiment on if you wish so yes i know he is cute and the audio that i've used is very cute but seriously i've got more views of pepper in the last 36 hours than i've had on any card for a very long time sadly i do watch it back myself because it is very cute i've watched it a lot um but lots of people have given him a little heart so I'm not taking it personally that you like my cat, my one-eared cat, more than you like the creations I do. Seriously, I'm not taking it personally. Honest, I'm not. I am a bit. Um, 11 celebration credits. Oh, Leslie. Thank you, Gwen. It's, it is just a really simple card. But adding in the Cajun Craze watercolour pencil, just having washed everything, it just adds a little bit something back right i'm gonna go for ducks this time and i can't decide what color to use the reason i can't decide is because i think they are mallards um which means that they are going to have interesting colors so i think i'm gonna go for i think i might go sahara sand because i'm almost needing to go no lime watercolour. Almost. Oh, it's too difficult for words. I'm trying to find a scrap of paper. That's a scrap of paper. Let me see just how light this is going to look. Thank you, Margaret. See, Sahara sand is quite green. I think Sahara Sand stamped off is too faint. So I'm, I'm thinking maybe crumb cake. Or possibly some... Ooh, I know. Grey granite. Let's go for warm grey. That's smoky slate, Liz. Grey granite. Warm grey. Now, there's almost no ink left on this, so I'm just going to clean it there. a dent in my grey granite ink pad. Right, so let's have a look at that. Oh, that's better. My grey granite ink pad does need re-inking, however, but it's going to be perfect for this. So, actually, I might go that way. So, lots of ink. Oh, I might go up. Yes. I'm going to go up. So, very, very faint, but it's there for an outline only. So, this time I'm going to go more for my watercolour pencils. When I did say I'd have a go at watercolour pencils with the blender brush. Didn't I? Right, mallard. So, I need some blue, as in green blue. I need brown. So, where's my early espresso? There. Mallard. I can't remember exactly what a mallard looks like, which is clearly, clearly why I need to search for mallard bird. Yep, it's a 
yeah so really green at the top I need some yellow and I do need grey and some orange so pumpkin, uh, pumpkin pie and basic grey I think yes so oh that's not so which one's that that's coastal cabana don't want coastal cabana I want Bermuda Bay so these are all in the first lot of watercolour pencils Cajun Craze is in the second lot of watercolour pencils but I'm trying to keep within one set oh it's even moving I'm sorry it's under the this is moving it's of 3D let's have a look this is so cute look at this can you see it let me see if you can see it this is on Google this is so cute it's so cute it is even quacking I'm just saying it's very sad this is what Google can do for you anyway um, let's go back and and stop having my quacking mallard uh, right so I'm going to start with the head <laughs> it's still moving I'm sorry let's um let's get a non-moving picture because I can't be doing with it right so Bermuda Bay and then you have a white line so that's going to be interesting trying to keep a white line uh, we'll have some pumpkin pie for his beak and we need quite a lot of grey on his front now I try not to keep my watercolour pencils too sharp because if they're too sharp they add marks and what you want is colour not marks it's pouring with rain so please I've got my indoor slippers on and I'm in my craft studio it's going to be fun getting back over to my to the house ah now I'm just going to remind you and give you due warning just so you remember and I know some of you have already been very very kind over this so uh, this is the last time on a YouTube live that you will see me for quite a long time with any amount of hair because on Monday hopefully not in the piddling rain I'm having my head shaved to raise money for breast cancer research um, it's a local charity called Against Breast Cancer who are looking to find um, a cure for second secondary breast cancer, which is where it's spread to other parts of your body, primarily bones, brain, liver and lungs, and is incurable at that point um, currently. So they're trying to find a cure, but they're also trying to find a vaccine for breast cancer. Um, which has become easier thanks to COVID, actually, surprisingly. So I am raising money by having my head shaved because it's my 10th anniversary of being diagnosed with breast cancer. Uh, happily, I am in remission. Um, sadly, not everyone I know is. And in fact, I lost a friend over the weekend who has been battling secondary breast cancer for as long as I've known her. Um, and she was one of those wonderful people that really didn't care about well I say she didn't care about how she felt obviously she did um, but she would be more interested in how you were when you met clear for two years excellent Donna brilliant I had to have chemo I managed to not have radiotherapy so I was diagnosed six months before my mother was she we both had to have full mastectomies um, single side for mastectomies um, she was at the stage when she had it she was a bit elderly to go through chemo uh, so she had radiotherapy um, I was told that radiotherapy was something to keep in the background in case I got a recurrence not a spread but a recurrence uh, and then they could use radiotherapy for that um, but that had I had radiotherapy initially more thunder um, had I had radiotherapy initially uh, it would then mean I couldn't have used it later because you can only have it once on each side 
um, and they said that the chances of it increasing my life expectancy was about 2%. So we agreed, the consultant and I, that it really wasn't worth the, um, worth the effort. You can also um, hit your lungs. Right, so let me show you that. Let me just see if that is where I think it is, more or less. It's very faint at this stage, but the colour is there. Oh, I'm going to have to have some water. Um, have a have a not too bad day at work, Kay. Um, I'm going to have some water purely because I'm feeling a little dehydrated. I, I went for my first run in, oh, 18 months yesterday, and today I was at the gym. So I have used quite a lot of energy these last couple of days. Our gym runs a, what they call an academy, which is small group um, personal training. Right, I've got my very fine watercolour brush again, so water painter. And I'm going to start on the lady duck. And again, dry is your friend. Um, so yes, I've been going to the academy. So having um, personal training, small group personal training twice a week for almost a year now. And I have to say, I do feel a lot fitter than I had. Um, I do need to lose some weight, but I do feel fitter. Uh, to the extent that having not run for 18 months, firstly, because I've had a really quite nasty fall, um, and damaged my knee quite badly. Uh, and then I got COVID twice. So um, I went for my first run yesterday, expecting to not be able to go very far. Um, that's where we are so far with our little duck. Um, and I managed over a mile, which is almost two kilometres. So I was quite pleased. I wouldn't say it was the best running I've ever done, but it was running. Um, I did post... <laughs> on my Facebook page and Barbara bless her who I've known for quite some time now um, did say I looked tired I think that was possibly the understatement of the year I felt absolutely shattered but delighted that I'd managed to do the run because in September I'm doing the village fun run which is five kilometers so it'd be quite useful if I could actually put one foot in front of the other so that's my lady duck so now I'm going to do my boy duck and I'm going to start with the body. So this is a mix of early espresso and uh, basic grey and just a very small amount of water. And really all I'm doing is blending it together, remembering the shape that a duck is. So it's got wings, so it goes that way. Uh, and then it's got its breast, which is obviously solid. So what I mean by that is you want your brush to go that way, not that way, because it would look a bit odd if you had any lines going that way. And the thing you need to remember with this is that it's a sketch. It's not supposed to be completely lifelike. I'm going to be happy if I can walk distances again. I know, Leslie, you've got your back surgery I want to say if I've remembered correctly um, coming up so my fingers will be crossed and my prayers will be with you for a successful surgery and I do have some interesting issues courtesy of the treatment I had for breast cancer so I have quite severe nerve damage, which means I have chronic sciatica, which they can't do anything about. I'm just going to have to live with it. Um, I have numb toes on my feet, but they're very painful and numb. Nothing they can do about it apart from treat the nerve pain. Um, but I am in a better place than many. And then we've got our Bermuda Bay here, which is the perfect colour for our mallard head. I will be coming in with some black just to get 
eyes and things in place. I'm going to bring that Bermuda Bay up a little into the kind of wing area on my boy duck. So let me just see that that is in the right place. It is. So we've got our boy, deck, boy duck coming. Um, and then, right, so I need my black, which again is in the first set. Neuropathy, yeah. Peripheral neuropathy. It's joyous. I didn't get it when I was doing chemo. Isn't it wonderful we all say doing chemo? Whilst I was having chemo, um, I didn't have a problem with peripheral neuropathy. Now I do. It's just wonderful. So we've got, this is where you can refer back to your sketch. Oh no, two days before your original date of your op. That's not fun. So I'm going to refer back. So I need to get some shading in under here, which I think I might do with my basic grey. Certainly start with basic grey. Yep, that's perfect. Got shading there. We need a bit of shading down here. And again, I'm going to use my basic grey just to add that shading. And a bit under there, around its top of his legs. And a bit around her. Just where there would be, naturally, some shading. Um, and we've got, and you can see I'm using the grey at this point, not the black. The black is very definite. Um, da black is something you want to use sparingly. So the black I'm just going to use for his eye. very sparingly and for her eye again very sparingly and then the shadow that goes with that I'm doing in basic grey so that is our finished sketch they do need to be walking on something strangely so back to my watercolour pencils and I'm going to pick a colour, I think I'll go Old Olive. These are my original watercolour pencils, just saying. I've had them, what, three years have they been out or is it four now? Love the ducks, love the mallards. Thank you, Janet. Thank you, Leslie. So I'm going to add some Old Olive, just scribbled. Just so they've got something to walk on. And then again, very dry brush. Just to move that around a bit and blend it a little. Right, so that's my mallards done. Now we just need to make a card. So I'm thinking I might go Old Olive. You, Bermuda Bay is going to be really distracting. That's my thought. Um, old Olive, here we go. So let's grab a sheet of Old Olive. Uh, I've already got a card. Now I know I normally do a top folding card, but I will s save the... Um, Ooh, except, except, except. Right, so I'm going to cut a standard base for this. For me, this is a standard base. So this is three and seven eighths by five and five eighths. And I, need to, I know I need to trim this down by a quarter of an inch. And again, I'm going to take an eighth off this side because I like it over to the side. that hole if you're not going to put something central put it well off center this will then be the right proportions and we'll pick up the old olive from 
this base. And I'm thinking, I am going to go crumb cake, but I'm going to go crumb cake top opening. All right. Ooh, I wonder, I wonder, this might be, this might not work, just saying. Just saying. Does that work? I don't know that it does. Janet doesn't use the pencils enough. Therapeutic, and the results are beautiful. The, the watercolour pencils are brilliant. I mean, even just using those watercolour pencils, I think that's not right. Personally, that's it's my card and I'm sticking to it. Ooh, actually, no, 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 no. I'm going to stick with crumb cake, but I am going to go top opening. The Bermuda Bay really doesn't work. Right, okay. And just for the sake of time, I'm not going to... Oh, am I? I know I might emboss the... Um, emboss the the mat so let's pop that to one side grab my plates and I'm thinking time worn type where are you time worn type there you are time worn type So, pop my card in and run it through. So it just adds an extra dimension. Now I want to add a ribbon and we have Old Olive because this is in the Old Olive and Sahara Sand pack. So I'm going to add some Old Olive. It's in one of the combos. Hello Brenton. Brenton's in the house. So, as I said earlier, lots of liquid adhesive because watercolour paper will absorb liquid and we're sticking it to something that is embossed so it needs help. And the best way for it to get help is lots of adhesive. And I'm going to add my old olive. Don't you love the colour coordination? Isn't it just so easy? I mean, look. It just, it just blends in. It's perfect. <sighs> just saying. Right, let's hold this in place. Have you just come off a shift, Brenton? Let's hold that in place, line it up with my grid paper. Add some seal plus. I hope you've all got grid paper. And if you haven't, I want to know why. Mary Ellen is on vacation in California. Sort of. Okay. I I I Okay. I won't I won't press you. Um now I am going to use tear and tape to go over the top. And sort of come off shift. Cuz I know you finished your show. I saw you post about that. Well, I know that gets late nights. 
having done amateur musical theatre for many years. Right, fold that in half. I used to have the joys of doing all the costumes as well as performing. Right, I'm going to just make sure that's well pressed down before I grab my one of these. And then we're going to have time for one last card, which will be a bit different because it's the one that is not animal. Come on, off you come. Come along. Thank you. So lots of... Oh, okay. You've been having a relax and why not, I say. And again, I'm using quite a lot of adhesive because the, uh, the old olive is embossed. Now, you can add a sentiment down here. Um, if you want to stamp a sentiment and fussy cut it or anything like that, do remember this is watercolour pa paper, so it's not white and it's not vanilla. It's watercolour, so just bear that in mind. What I am going to do, although I've just popped it away, is grab a short length and I'm just going to add a knot. Now, obviously, I will put linings in, but I've said it before and I will say it again. My handwriting is so bad. It's not actually that my handwriting is bad. It's just my brain goes at a different rate from my hand. Um, so I end up making a mess of the inside of most cards. So I tend to write them before I stick them in. So I'll write them and decorate, or I'll decorate them and write them before I stick them in the card. That way I don't have to rip them out of the card. So that's our ducks. So that just leaves us with our last image. I mean, we do have a little splatter as well, but our last image I'm thinking is um, fix. So we have fig trees in our garden. We have fig trees in our greenhouse as well, but we do have fig trees in our garden. So I do know what a fig looks like. So I am going to go garden green, which I rarely use, but I am going to go garden green. There is a reason why I'm going garden green, which we will come to in a moment. I'm going to just try this on the back and then, yeah, I'm gonna go second generation. Now, if you want your watercolour paper to be flatter, as in with less um, texture, if you put it in through your die cutter with a cleanish plate on top or wrap it in just photocopy paper, it gets really flat. Lion King Junior, that was it. Kids were awesome to work with. Good. I have to say, I'm, I'm very fond of children. Could need a whole one, but I do like them. I'm joking. I just don't. I've not had children. I've always, I've always not wanted children. Um. So, I don't have them. Right. Okay. Water cut. Water painter. Um. I am going to bring in my watercolor pencils again. And. Garden Green is in the second set, as is, I hope I am remembered rightly. No. Oh, I didn't. Rich Razzleberry. Rich Razzleberry is in the first set. Got it wrong. Never mind. So I'm going to start as ever. Oh, I might need a brown. Um, just by moving the ink that we've stamped. So again, keep your image where you can see it. I'm not going to put it here because it will pick up the lights, which will irritate you because it will reflect. Um, so this is just so that I know where the leaves are and where the fruit is. So we're getting thunderstorms. And of course, because we're getting thunderstorms, we're also getting it very muggy which is lovely. I 
I had a one of those <gasps> moments um, earlier in the week because we are having a new um, power supply put in in the village that's affecting some of us but not all of us and I looked at the date without working out what day of the week it was and I thought it was next Thursday happily it's next Friday we will have no power all day so hubby and I have decided we're going to go out hopefully the weather will be nice enough that we can go on the river and I have got factor 50 sun cream that I can put on what will then be my somewhat exposed scalp So that's the stalks. So I'm thinking of these as those, um, are they turkey figs? Tur turkey bronze, bronze? Or am I thinking of a turkey? Anyway, the ones that are less green and more purpley. So I'm gonna, I am going to color the green in, but I am going to add some rich razzleberry to get that nice fig color. I don't know why I don't use garden green more. It's quite a nice colour. Right, so I'm going to start by doing my figs. So I'm going to add, that point's a little sharp, but let's find the flat bit of it. So I'm going to add some rich razzleberry to my fig. Let me just show you that. Let me just make sure I am in the right place. There we go. Oh, Leslie, the, the, the quality of some of the amateur shows is amazing. Um, my husband and I met doing musical theatre, actually doing Gilbert and Sullivan, but um, we were both in musical theatre rather than Gilbert and Sullivan societies as well and some of the shows were just amazing but yes our our eyes met across a crowded stage right so I'm just going to again with a basically damp brush just move some of that around might need to add some more garden green but we've got the garden green there might need to add some more rich raspberry as well i am going to need to add a brown so which brown i think i might use early espresso as it's out It is very green at the moment, the garden green. And then we'll be at about where we should be for a Thursday craft session. So I always try to keep them at about an hour. So we will have simple stamping Saturday on guess when? Saturday. Um, and Tuesday is still adhesive mini series for top tips. Uh, and then I will be live at 11 in the morning. It's now four in the afternoon for those of you overseas who need to work the timing out. And we can start looking at celebration properly. So who, who isn't already a demonstrator and is going to use the joining offer to become a demonstrator because it's an amazing joining offer hello Janice it was very romantic what was particularly romantic and I, I do sort of believe him um, so he came in at I was doing a production of Yeoman of the Guard I was in the chorus um, I'm only slightly bitter about that, but that's a whole other story, um, which I might come on to in a minute because it's in my head now. Uh, and he came in at the last minute because there, were, there had to be a quick change of um, of casting because the musical director had to drop out for personal reasons. So Martin came in to replace 
the person who was paying Sergeant Merrill. And he says that he only came in because he knew I was in the production and he wanted to meet me. That's what he says. So it is quite romantic. Right, I need to just move that brown around. So yes, my bitter and twisted about being in the chorus. Uh, I auditioned for one of the solos, only a small part, Kate, I think her name was, um, who does a um, an unaccompanied quartet as part of the thing. And it starts unaccompanied and then the orchestra join. Um, and Kate is the highest of the voices. So it's up to her to keep the pitch right. A, she has to start on pitch and B, she has to finish on pitch, keeping everybody else in pitch along the way. The person who was given the part had auditioned for two of the more involved roles and had been given Kate as the, we're sorry we couldn't cast you in either of the other two roles. Not because she was good at Kate, but because she wasn't quite good enough for the other two. And she couldn't hold the note. So every night they went flat. I'm not bitter. I do think I need a bit more rich razzleberry. So yes, I'm not bitter and twisted at all. Um, and I did a concert version of that particular song a couple of years later, playing Kate. And we were never flat. Came in on the right notes. Never, never dropped pitch. Just saying, not bitter. Not bitter at all. So that's our fix. And I'm going to pick Rich Razzleberry out of that for my mat. Uh, there we go. Rich Razzleberry. Oh, I've got a scrappy scrap. So, because that will help pull that Rich Razzleberry out of the stamp. garden green. Do we think garden green would work with rich razzleberry? to emboss the um, rich razzleberry. I'll use the time one type again. And then we will be nearly done. So do remember wherever you are in the world, if you're not already a demonstrator, Celebration is the best time to join, and if you like a planner, it absolutely is the best time to join because you'll get one worth £42. Yes, yes, it cost me £42 to buy it. And the only way you're going to be able to get it from the 1st of July, which I know some of you are already on the 1st of July, um, will be to join Stamping Up. And it covers an 18 month calendar, the journal. And if you are already a demonst uh, demonstrator or don't want to join, and I do understand that not everyone wants to join, um, do remember that celebration is the time to stock up on everything you need. S you know, just get to those multipliers so that you can get free product. And, of course, if you've enjoyed the video, a thumbs up is always appreciated. Um, right, I'm going to do something a bit rash. Because there's one stamp I haven't used yet, and I'm going to use it. And this might ruin the card, but I'm prepared to run the risk. So...
I need to change this back, this grid paper. Let me just see what that... Yeah, I'm going to run the risk. Yeah, too right I am. So I'm just keeping going, basically, until I run out of ink with my splatter because on its own this is quite small so I want it to have a bit more help. Gosh you've all been quiet. You've all suddenly gone quiet. You're probably going, Liz, what on earth are you doing? Ruining that card. I'm not going to fill the whole area, just, you know, a bit like that. Actually, I might go up a bit. Let's just come up here a bit more. So that's what I've got now. Can you see that? Buried my mouth under a... Just about... It just takes the flatness out of the out of the card and shows you that stamp but yes you're all being very quiet very, very quiet right so we are nearly done it is now just gone four um so if you've enjoyed the video, do give it a thumbs up. Did I trim this down? I don't think I did. It's fine. We can deal with that. No, I didn't. Right, so because I didn't trim this down, I'm pushing it all up a bit so that the gap is at the bottom. No, don't ever worry that you chat too much. Chatting's good. I've actually stuck the um, this to the back of the Time Warm type but it's fine no one will know but us it's going to be our secret fortunately you can't see much of it from this side so yes if you've enjoyed the video please give it a thumbs up thank you margaret um and if you want to share it to pinterest please do that would be fan dabby dozy so we've got our figs, our duckies, and our box. So can you see those? Yes, more or less. So there we are. Listening while working. Hello, Shani. I didn't see you there. Hello. Is it raining with you? It's horrible with us. Definite thunderstorms. There's rumbles all the time. So... Uh, let me flip the camera up so I can say farewell properly because that's how I was taught. It definitely looks dark now. Uh, it's only four o'clock in the afternoon. We've only just gone past the longest day, so it should still be light until about half past nine. <sighs> Hello, Elfie. Watching from Canada. Just finishing, but you can watch it on replay almost instantly when I finish. So... I hope you have enjoyed that. Um, do think if you've got celebration rewards, do remember that it's the stylish sketches. And as I say, I will be looking slightly different next week. Um, so to be warned, um, I have got my chemo week out, which I never wore when I was doing chemo because I didn't lose my hair. But my husband has asked me to have my wig available which I will be wearing for high days and holidays because it will be very hot. Um, but I will be looking a bit weird. So do just <laughs> bear that in mind. Um, it's nothing to worry about. So have a fantastic rest of your day. Um, as I say, I've got Simple Stamping Saturday on Saturday morning. Um, do remember that if you're not in the South Pacific, tomorrow is the start of the new mini catalogue. It is not just Christmas. There are some wonderful things in there that are not Christmas. So do have a look at it. Um, 
and I will be looking at celebration quite a lot over the next week or so so that you've got some ideas hello Susan just just joining as I'm leaving um, early morning in Calgary it would be so I've literally I'm literally just finishing off Susan but uh, you can re -watch, you can watch the replay very soon um, thank you Elfie it's it's fine I'm just I'm just having my head shaved for charity um, it's going to be fine Leslie if I don't see you before I know you're a little it's I want to say it's the 11th your surgery or is it the 13th I know I think it's sometime around then um, but if I don't see you before good luck um, and I will see the rest of you very soon I hope um, as I say simple stamping Saturday on it's not chemo Susan sorry you're you've joined late so I'm celebrating 10 years of being uh, free from breast or well, 10 years from my diagnosis of breast cancer um, and I'm celebrating huh, marking it by having my head shaved um, so my chemo wig is coming out of the out it's the seventh okay I will write that down so I remember um, so yes do watch the replay I'm not having chemo my head is being shaved to raise money for charity um, I think there's a link if there isn't I'll put it there's a link to my just giving page where you can uh, donate in sterling US dollars euros Australian dollars possibly Canadian dollars um, but yes so I'm hoping to raise lots of money for uh, research into a cure for secondary breast cancer and a vaccine for breast cancer generally I'm going to go and lie down in a darkened room I think and I will see you all very soon I hope so until then fare thee well um, and I will see you again very very soon bye bye <laughs>